Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use a case statement in SQL. So I'm going to go over the two types of case statements, which is the simple case statement and a searched case statement. And I'm also going to go over the nested case statement. So what I'm going to do here is I'm first going to create a table with these columns. So I have a student ID, type int, name as varchar 50, status as varchar 10, and score as type integer. So I'm going to first create this table. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert some sample data into it. So I'm going to just insert seven rows in it. So let me execute this. And I am also going to provide all of these scripts in my comments below. So you can check it out and try it out yourself too. So now that I have the data in there, I can just select from it. So I'm going to query my score table. So I should have all those seven rows in there. So first I'm going to go over the simple case statement and I am going to just use the same table here so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna select all of the columns here so i'm gonna do student id student name student status score so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna write a simple case statement on this column called student status so i'm gonna do case student status when it's active then I'm going to say it's an A. When it's inactive, then it's an I. And else, if there's any other value in there, I can provide a default value. Otherwise, I can leave it as is. But I'm going to provide a default value. I'm going to say just do unknown. And then I'm going to close my case statement. So I'm going to do, and this is how you close your case statement. You close it with an end. So this is good as is right now, but I'm also going to give it an alias because if I execute this now, this column will not have a name. So if I execute it now, see the new column, it doesn't have a name. So I'm going to give it an alias. So I'm just going to say this is my grade. So let me execute this now. So now this new column that I built using the simple case statement has a name as well. So what I did is whenever the student status is active, I'm going to return an A. And when it's inactive, it's going to be an I. And for all others, it's going to be an unknown. But since I did not have any other conditions other than active and inactive, I do not have any unknowns here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert one more row here. So I have another row here, John Wolf, and I am going to leave the student status as null so no value and for the score i'm gonna pass 85 so let me execute this now so i've just inserted one row and now when i run this you're gonna see the default value because this student status is null so it does not fall in either one of this so it's gonna be an unknown so when the student status is active it's an a inactive is i and then when there's no value by default it'll be an unknown Okay, so this is how we use a simple case statement. So you have your expression, case expression, then value, then result. So this is the syntax of the simple case statement. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to calculate the grade based on the score. So I'm going to work with the score column. So I can do the same thing here. So I can just remove this. I can remove all of these conditions. And I'm going to say score when 90, then A, when 80, then B, else unknown. I'm just working with a few examples right now. I'm just doing 1980. But what I'm trying to do is when the score is 19 above, then assign it an A. When it's an 18 above, then it's a B. 70 and above is a C. 60 and above is a D. And everything else like 60 and below uh, would be an F. But here in the simple case statement, I have to provide the exact value. So I can only do when it's 90, then it's an A, 80 is a B. So this is not going to work because I want everything 90, including 90 and above to be an A, not just that value. So this is not going to work here. So if I execute this now, see everything is an unknown. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to do something like this, greater than or equal to, but this is not going to work here. Uh, I'm going to get an error. So for this scenario, we are going to use search case statement. So here's how we use a search case statement. So let me just remove this. And now I'm going to say case when a score is greater than or equal to 90, then I want to return an A. And let me just copy this. I'm just going to paste it. And then I'm going to simply change it to when it's an 80 and above, I'm going to return a B. When it's a 70 and above, I'm going to return a C. 
60 and above is a D, else F. So if it does not fall into any one of these, it'll be an F. So if I execute this now, this is gonna work. And let me just sort it by score so it's easier to read. So I'm gonna do order by score and I'm gonna do descending. So let me execute this now. So see, 19 above is an A here, 18 above is a B, 17 above is a C and everything else, so 16 below would be an F. So in a search case statement, I can provide multiple scenarios here. So I can do uh, stuff like this, which I couldn't do in a simple case statement, but I can do in this case. And let's say if I wanna add another condition here. So I do not care about the inactive students. You have to be an active student if you wanna receive an A, B, or C. So I can just add another condition here. So I can do and student status equals active then it's an a so you have to be active to get an a and then i'm gonna add the same condition here for grade b and then the same thing for c uh, i forgot the end here and i can also do the same thing for d so now not only uh, you have to get these scores to get the grade but you also have to be active so let me execute this now so see my inactive even though it is scored in 85 and above, got an F because of this condition. So here we can easily use multiple conditions and multiple matches to get our results. So just remember one thing, in a case statement, the order of execution is really important. So if the match is found in the first condition, it's not gonna go to the second condition. So if I write this first, so let me just cut it and paste it here. So if I write this 80 and above condition first, so what's going to happen is, since 90 and above, it's also satisfied with this condition, it's gonna return a B. It's not even gonna go here and check for this condition because it's already satisfied in this first scenario. So my 90 and above is also B. So just remember that the order of execution is really important. So make sure whenever you are designing your case statement, you take that into account. So I'm just gonna do a control Z, okay? So this is how you use a search case statement. Finally, I'm gonna show you how to use a nested case statement. So a nested case statement is simply a case statement within a case statement. So, so in this example, I already have my grade calculated based on the score. So in a nested case statement, what I can do is I can use this whole thing as a column. So I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna simply copy this and then I am gonna write another case statement here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna write another case statement here, case when, and I'm gonna enclose this whole thing and I'm just gonna take the name out because that's just the uh, alias for this condition. So I'm gonna just take this out because I'm gonna assign it a different name in the end. So what I'm doing now is I'm writing another case statement using this case statement that I've already built. So I'm doing case when this whole thing is an A, then is a high score. Else is a low score. And S, and then I'm gonna give this column a name I'm gonna call it rank. So what I'm checking is if this whole thing is an A, then it's a high score, else it's a low score. And I can even put like multiple conditions here. First, let me just execute this here. So see anything 19 above, we got a high score and everything else, we got a low score. And if I, let's say if I wanna add multiple conditions here, I can check this whole thing against multiple conditions. So I can do in and I'm saying, okay, now if this whole thing was an A, or a B, then is a high score, else is a low score. So let's execute this now. So see, anything 19 above, that was an A in this case. So remember, we have a condition here where if you're inactive, it's an F. So we are not checking that. We are just checking anything 18 above, that's an active. So see, this one, since it's inactive, it's a high score. And these two, since they are active and it's a 90 above, it's a high score. So this is how you can use a case statement within a case statement. So in this tutorial, we learned how to use a simple case statement, a search case statement, and a nested case statement. If you guys like the video, please leave a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel. And let me know if you guys have any questions. Thank you for watching.